fourth edition of Interchange, the most widely used and the most successful English course in the world. This state-of-the-art software is designed to help you maximize your teaching effectiveness as you move seamlessly through each lesson, incorporating video, audio, and even online resources, all with the click of a mouse. Visit the link below or contact your Cambridge University Press representative for a demonstration today. Interchange to fourth edition, unit 13, part two. The students must keep the words by heart before explanation. Eight, you can camp here, fasten your seat belt, recycle this item, a hard hat, helmet, to have your dog on a leash. Nine, look, to fasten something with a key, Bike rack, hallway, hall entrance, waste paper basket, waste paper basket, turn out. 10. Words of exercise number 10. You can, main verb. You can't, main verb. You're allowed to, main verb. You're not allowed to, main verb. You have to, main verb. Eleven, fine, to pay money as punishment. Speed limit. Lane, reserve. Warning, to be aware of possible danger. A warning, to be aware of possible danger. Be, yeah, yeah, sound. Be aware of, be aware of, possible danger. 11b, that's weird, that's strange. Weird, strange. Patrol car. Patrol car. Police car. Police. This word police, not police. Police. Police car. 12. Rules and regulations. Instructions. Chew gum. Exercise 13. A pearl. A jewel. A pearl. A jewel. Wisdom, good judgment. Wisdom, good judgment. Bush, a low tree with many leaves. Bush, a low tree with many leaves. Hatch, the process of a baby bird comes out of an egg. Hatch, the process of a baby bird comes out of an egg. An egg. Make link between N and E, an egg. Sum up. To make a summary. Sum up. To make a summary. Source. Origin. Source. Origin. Warning. A notice of a possible danger. Possible. American. British. Possible. British. O O. American. O. As a sound. Possible. Outcome. A result, outcome, a result, proverb, distinct, different, distinct, different. Page 95, exercise 8, perspectives, signs, part A. What do you think these international signs mean? Listen and match each sign with the correct meaning. A. You can camp here. B. You aren't allowed to take photos here. C. 
You have to fasten your seat belts. D. You can recycle this item. E. You have to wear a hard hat to enter this area. F. You can't drink the water here. It's not safe. G. You have to keep your dog on a leash here. H. You've got to take off your shoes here. A. What do you think this international science, science, G, silent, mean? These are some science. What do they mean? Listen and match each sign with the correct meaning. Here in this exercise, you match the sign with the meaning, the picture with the meaning. For example, one, this is the picture. You can recycle this item. So number one, D. One, D. Two. You can camp here. Two, A. Three. You have to keep your dog on a leash. This is number G. Four. E. You have to wear a hard hat to enter this area. Four. E. Five. Five. H. You have got to take off your shoes here. This is number five. It's H. Six. Six. C. You have to fasten your seat belts. Seat belts. You have to fasten the seat belts. Seven. So number six. C. Seven. Seven. You are not allowed to take photos here. This is number B. You are not allowed to take photos here. B. Eight. F. You can't drink the water here. It's not safe. It's number F. You can't drink the water here. It's not safe. So it's number eight. F. Again, the answers. One D, two A, three G, four E, five H, six C, seven B, eight. F B Pair work Where might you see the signs in part A? Give two suggestions for each one In number B you will tell the class Where can you find the sign? Where can you find this picture? For example, A. You can camp here. You can camp here. So, where can you find this sign? You can camp here. On a beach at a campsite. On a beach at a campsite. Two. You're not allowed to take photos here. So this picture, you're not allowed to take photos here. Where can you find this? B. In a museum. In an art gallery. In a museum. In an art gallery. 3. C. You have to fasten your seat belts. This picture. C. You have to fasten your seat belts. On an airplane, in a taxi, C. On an airplane, in a taxi, 4. You can recycle this item. You can recycle this item. On aluminum can. On a plastic bottle. On a plastic bottle. On an aluminum can. E. 
You have to wear a hard hat to enter this area. E, where? Where can I find this? At a construction site in a factory. E, at a construction site in a factory. F, you can't drink the water here. It's not safe. Where can we find this picture? Where? You can't drink the water here. It's not safe. In a hotel room at a campsite. G. You have to keep your dog on a leash here. You have to keep the dog on a leash. It's number G. Where can we find it? In a park on a sidewalk. In a park on a sidewalk. H. You have got to take off your shoes here. This one, where can we find it? In a place of worship in someone's home. In a place of worship in someone's home. Page 95, Exercise 9, Grammar Focus. Permission, Obligation, and Prohibition. Permission. You can camp here. You are allowed to take off your shoes. Obligation. You have to camp here. You've got to take off your shoes. Prohibition. You can't camp here. You aren't allowed to take off your shoes. Permission, obligation, and prohibition. Permission. Permission, you have the right to do it. You can do it. Permission, you can do it. You can camp here. You're allowed to take off your shoes. So here you have permission. We have subject, you plus can plus main verb camp you can camp here subject can main verb you're allowed to subject is are allowed to plus main verb you're allowed to take off your shoes he he is allowed to take off his shoes Obligation. Obligation. You must. You have to. You have to camp here. You have got to take off your shoes. Obligation. Subject. Have to. Have got to. Has. Has to. Has got to. Plus infinitive. Main verb. Prohibition. Prohibition can't. You can't. You can't do it. You can't camp here. You're not. You aren't allowed to take off your shoes. Subject can. Main verb. You can't camp here. Or subject we, you, they aren't allowed to plus main verb, infinitive, take, or he, she, it, isn't, allow it to, plus main verb. Permission, obligation, and prohibition. Permission, obligation, and prohibition. What is the meaning? Of this of this title prohibition prohibition can isn't allow it to look at the picture look at the picture what do you see a prisoner someone in prison can he visit his friends no 
He can't visit his friends. A prisoner can't visit his friends. Can he go out? No, he's not allowed to go out. Prohibition can't isn't allowed to. Prohibited. Forbidden. You can't do it. You can't. So a prisoner can't visit his friends. A prisoner can't go out. A prisoner is not allowed to go out. A prisoner can't visit his friends. So his friends come and visit him. Subject can't mean verb. Subject can't mean verb. Can't visit. The subject he, she, it isn't allowed to go. This is the form. Main verb. Infinitive. He is not allowed to go out. He, she, it isn't allowed to. Infinitive. What about if I said we? They, you, prisoners aren't allowed to go out. So here, we, you, they aren't allowed to plus infinitive. Again, this is the formation, the form. We use subject, can't mean verb. Or use allowed to plus infinitive, not allowed to. To use not allow it to, he, she, it, isn't. We, they, aren't, allowed to, plus infinitive. This is prohibition. You can't do it. So, what about a prisoner? What can he do? He is allowed to write letters. He is allowed to write letters. He can write letters. He's allowed to write letters. Can a prisoner exercise? Yes. He can do exercises. He can hike. He can walk. So, this is of course something you can. Permission. Permission? He's allowed to write letters. He can exercise every day. A prisoner can exercise every day. A prisoner can exercise every day. A prisoner can write letters. A prisoner is allowed to write letters. He's allowed to write letters. He can exercise every day. So, the formation. Subject, can, plus main verb. He, she, it is allowed to plus infinitive. Infinitive main verb. We use they are allowed. Obligation. Have got, have got to. Examples. Obligation, you must do it. He has got to wear a prison uniform. A prisoner has got to wear a prison uniform. He has to wear a prison uniform. A prisoner has to wear a prison uniform. So has got to, has to, plus infinitive, wear. Obligation. Have got to. Have got to. Examples. 
He has got to wear a prison uniform. So a prisoner must has got to wear a prison uniform. He has to wear a prison uniform. So the prisoner has to wear a prison uniform. He she at has to or has got to. Plus infinitive. He has got to has to plus infinitive main verb. We you they have to have got to plus infinitive main verb. Prisoners have got to wear prison uniforms. So here, if I use we, you, or they, they have to, or they have got to wear present uniforms. This is obligation. You must do it. If you didn't do it, you will have a problem. You will be punished. A. Match the school rules with the correct sign then compare with the partner. In this exercise we have eight rules and we have here eight signs. We need to match these rules with these pictures. Match them. 1. Lock your bikes in the bike rack. This is number F. Lock your bike in the bike rack. 2. No eating or drinking in the classroom. 2. A. No eating or drinking in the classroom. 3. No playing. No playing ball in the hallway. The building entrance. Number H. 3 H. 4. Keep the class room door closed keep the door closed number four d five no listening to music don't listen to music so number five c no listening to music six throw trash in the waste basket six G. G. Threw trash in the waste basket. 7. No cell phones, no mobiles. E. 7 E. 8. Turn out the lights when leaving. This is number B. Eight B. B. Pair work. Use the language in the grammar box to take turns talking about each sign. So here, you can make sentences. Use permission, prohibition, obligation. Example A. This the first sign. This first sign means you're not allowed to eat or drink in the classroom. You're not allowed to eat or drink in the classroom. B. Yes, I think you are right. And the second one means you have to. The second one means you have to turn out the lights when you leave. C. You can't listen to music in the classroom. D. You have to keep the classroom door closed. You have to keep the classroom door closed. E. You can't use mobiles. You can't use the mobile. F. You can lock your bikes in the bike rack. You can lock your bikes in the bike rack. G. You have to throw all trash in the waste paper basket. You have to throw all the trash in the waste paper basket. H. You're not allowed to play ball in the hallway. You're not allowed to play ball in the hallway. Again. 
You will try to use the rules of the grammar and make sentences about these pictures. Exercise number 10. Discussion. Rules and regulations. How many rules? Can you think of for each of these places? You will make some rules for these places. Example, on an aeroplane, in a library, in an art museum, in a movie theater, on bus or subway, at work. Examples, on an aeroplane, in an airplane, you have to wear a seat belt. You have to wear a seat belt. You can't bring sharp objects on board. You can't bring sharp objects on board. Sharp objects or sharp objects like knives, scissors. In a library. You can't talk loudly. You can't. You cannot. You can't talk loudly. You can borrow box for a certain amount of time. You're not allowed to use a cell phone. You're not allowed to use a mobile. 3. In an art museum, you can't touch the exhibits. You can't make a noise or use a cell phone. In an art museum, you can't touch the exhibits. You can't make a noise or use a cell phone. In a movie theater, you have to throw away your trash after the movie. You have to turn off your cell phone. You can't talk loudly. You can't talk loudly. You cannot talk loudly. At work. You have to wear a uniform. You have to wear a uniform. You have to arrive on time. You're not allowed to sleep. You're not allowed to sleep in work. Exercise 11 listening. Sign language. G silence. Sign language. Listen to three conversations about driving. Check true or false for each statement. In this exercise, you are going to listen to a conversation. Then, you write true or false for every sentence. And then, you tell the class which of the drivers did something wrong. You answer A and B. You're gonna listen two times. You're going to listen two times. Number one, the man hasn't had a parking ticket lately. Parking isn't allowed there during working hours. The fine for parking is $16. So this is number one. You're gonna listen and you answer in your book. One. Oh no, not another parking ticket. That's the second one this week. Why did I get a ticket for parking here? I thought this was a free parking zone. Maybe you can only park here after working hours. Is there a sign around anywhere? Oh, you're right. There's one over there. I didn't even notice it. Looks like you can't park here till after 6 p.m. How much is the fine? Would you believe it? $60. Part A. Listen to three conversations about driving. Check true or false for each statement. One. 
Oh, no. Not another parking ticket. That's the second one this week. Why did I get a ticket for parking here? I thought this was a free parking zone. Maybe you can only park here after working hours. Is there a sign around anywhere? Oh, you're right. There's one over there. I didn't even notice it. Looks like you can't park here till after 6 p.m. How much is the fine? Would you believe it? Sixty dollars. One. The man hadn't had a parking ticket lately. True or false? False. Wrong. Why? Because the man had a parking ticket and this is the second parking ticket during the week. So this number one is false. He had different parking tickets. This is the second parking ticket during a week. During one week. Two. Parking isn't allowed there during working hours. True. Three. The fine for parking is sixteen dollars. False. Wrong. Not sixteen. It's sixty. Sixty dollars. So number one. False. True. False. What did the driver do wrong? Driver one parked in the wrong place. He parked in the wrong place. So he parked in the wrong place. Number two. I wonder why that traffic officer is signaling me. Perhaps he means you're driving too fast. No, I don't think so. The speed limit is 60, and I'm only going 55. Hmm. I wonder why there are no other cars in this lane. What do you mean? Well, you see how the other cars are all in the lane next to us? You're right. I think this one is just for buses and taxis. They really should put up better signs around here. Two. I wonder why that traffic officer is signaling me. Perhaps he means you're driving too fast. No, I don't think so. The speed limit is 60, and I'm only going 55. Hmm. I wonder why there are no other cars in this lane. What do you mean? Well, you see how the other cars are all in the lane next to us? You're right. I think this one is just for buses and taxis. They really should put up better signs around here. Number two. The woman is driving faster than the speed limit. This, of course, wrong, false. There are other cars in her lane. No, false. The lane is reserved for buses and taxis. True, yes, true. What was the driver's the driver mistake? Driver two was driving in the wrong lane. She was driving in the wrong lane. Three. That's weird. The last few cars driving toward us were flashing their lights. I see what you mean. There's another one. Maybe my lights are on or something. Let me check. No, they're off. Do you think there's an accident up ahead? Maybe you'd better slow down. Oh, now I see what's happening. There's a patrol car up ahead checking people's speed. How nice of those other drivers to let me know. Well, I'm within the speed limit. At least I am now. Three. That's weird. The last few cars driving toward us were flashing their lights. I see what you mean. There's another one. Maybe my lights are on or something. Let me check. No, they're off. Do you think there's an accident up ahead? Maybe you'd better slow down. Oh, now I see what's happening. There's a patrol car up ahead checking people's speed. How nice of those other drivers to let me know. Well, I'm within the speed limit. At least I am now. Three. 
The other drivers are flashing their lights. The other drivers are flashing their lights. True or false? True. He's driving with his lights on. False. No. Wrong. False. The other drivers are giving him a warning. Yes. True. What is the mistake? Driver 3 was speeding but slowed down. Driver 3 was speeding but slowed down. Driver 3 speeding was speeding but slowed down. Exercise number 12. In exercise number 12, this is writing a list of rules. In this exercise, you have group work, you and your friends, discuss the rules that currently exist at your school. How many can you think of? Are they all good rules? You start discuss this. B. Group work. Think of four new rules that you feel would be a good idea. Work together to write brief explanations of why each is necessary, why each one is very important. You write the rules 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, okay, and then you explain why is it important. You are not allowed to chew gum in class because it may bother other students. It makes other students angry. You can be late, but you have to come in quietly so you don't disturb the lesson, disturb, annoy. You have to pay a small fine if your cell phone rings in class because it disturbs, it distracts the student's attention. This is going to be homework. You start to write a list of rules for any place, for your home, the classroom, school, the library, Exercise 13 Reading Pearls of Wisdom Pearls What's a pearl? A pearl? This is a pearl. Pearl, a jewel. A small, shiny red ball. A small, shiny hard ball. A small, shiny hard ball that forms inside some oyster shells that forms inside a shell. This is a, a pearl, a pearl, a jewel, very valuable thing. Wisdom, good judgment. Look at these proverbs and the pictures below. Then match each proverb with the picture. So here in this exercise, we have four pictures and four proverbs. A bird in the hand is worse. Two in the bush. To the first proverb. One person's meat is another's once poison. Don't count your chickens before they hatch. Money doesn't grow on trees. We have here four proverbs, proverbs, and we have four pictures. Number one, a bird in the hand is worse to in the bush. Give advice, meaning something you have is better than something you might get. So this is to give advice, you might get it. One person's meat is another one's poison. This, of course, expresses a common truth meaning what one person loves another person may hate if you like something if you love something another person may hate it doesn't like see don't count your chickens before they hatch this is give a warning don't plan on 
a successful outcome. Don't plan on a successful outcome, outcome result until it actually happens. C. Don't count your chickens before they hatch. Give a warning, meaning don't plan on a successful outcome, outcome or result until it actually happens. D. Money doesn't grow on trees. Teach a lesson, meaning it's not easy to get money. It's not easy to get money. One. Why do people use proverbs? Many people love proverbs for their wisdom. Wisdom, good judgment. Others enjoy the images in the proverbs. They like the image in the proverb. But proverbs are most impressive. Proverbs are impressive. They are wonderful. They are amazing because they express a lot of information in just a few words. In a, pro in a proverb, we have a lot of information in few words. A good proverb quickly sums, sums up. Sum up. What does it mean sum up? Sums up. Sum up. Make a summary. Express the important facts. Sums of ideas that are sometimes hard to express. It's not easy to express. It's difficult to express. And the person listening immediately, immediately at the moment, understand the message. The person who's listening to the proverb gets the message gets the message, understands the message. He understands the meaning. 2. Where do proverbs come from? Proverbs come from two main places. Ordinary people, ordinary people like you and me, and famous people, very famous persons. These two sources are not always distinct. Common and popular wisdom has often been used by famous people. Wisdom has often been used by famous people. And something said or written down by a well-known person has often been borrowed by the common man and something said or written by a famous person, a well-known person, a famous person has often been borrowed by the common man. The ordinary man uses the words, some words of the famous, of a famous person. For example, Bad news travels fast. So this is a proverb. Probably comes from the experience of housewives. From housewives. However, all is well that end is well was written by William Shakespeare. William Shakespeare wrote all's well that ends well. So this is of course from Shakespeare. 3. What do proverbs tell us? What does proverbs tell us? Proverbs are used everywhere in the world. They are used everywhere, in every place, in every part of the world. If you can understand a culture's proverbs, you can better understand the culture itself. If you understand the culture, of the proverb, you can understand the culture itself of this country. There are many different ways that we use proverbs in daily life, daily life and every day. Here are some examples of what proverbs can do. So here we have some examples of 
through verbs. You can give advice, teach a lesson, give a warning, or express a common truth. Read the article, then find the sentences in the article. Then find the sentences in the article. Decide whether each sentence is the main idea or supporting idea in that paragraph. In the paragraph, this is main idea, the most important idea in the paragraph, or the supporting idea. Supporting idea, we have examples, we give details about the main idea. Check through the correct box. The main idea most of time is the first sentence in the paragraph. 1. Many people love proverbs for their wisdom. This is paragraph number 1. So for number one, it's a supporting idea, number two. But proof verbs are must, just a few words. Number two, this is in paragraph one, this is main idea, main idea. Three, proof verbs come from and famous people in paragraph two. Main idea, main idea. Four. If you can understand the culture itself, paragraph number three. So this is of course number four. This is supporting idea, supporting five. There are many proverbs in daily life. Paragraph three, main idea, main idea. B, class activity. Think of an interesting proverb from your country. What does it mean? Tell it to the class in English. Try to tell your friend a proverb like a friend indeed is a friend in need. Don't cry over spelt milk. Don't cry over spelt milk. Try to tell the class some proverbs. That's the end of Unit 14. Part 2 Homework 1. Keep the words by heart 2. Listen and repeat 3. Answer 3 pages of unit number 14 Workbook Interchange 2 4. Go to www.cambridge.org slash interchange arcade Slash for more exercises. Five, watch the video of Interchange 2, Unit 14. Finally, we should like it, share it, and subscribe. Shukran, nasalukum dua, wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. ممكن نجيب كتاب انترتشينج في أي مكتبة على مستوى العالم الكتاب موجود في العالم العربي كله في السعودية في الكويت الإمارات البحرين مصر والكتاب كمان موجود في فرنسا وإيطاليا وأسبانيا في كل الدول وفي أوروبا فكل الناس اللي هم بياخدوا اللغة الإنجليزية كلغة أجنبية تانية يقدروا يستخدموا الكتاب عندنا مثلا في مصر في المكتبة الأكاديمية وده جنب مترو أنفاء الدقي مجرد تخرج من المسجد أنفاء الدقي هتلاقي المكتبة على طول قدامك مكتبة سفينكس في شارع الشواربي شارع الشواربي في وسط البلد مشهور جدا فعندنا مكتبة جرير مكتبة جرير برضو بتقدم كتاب كتاب انتر تشينج السلسلة كلها وهي لها فروع في كل دول الخليج مكتبة الأمازون اللي هي المكتبة رقم واحد على مستوى العالم ودي برضو فيها كل النسخ بتاعة الانتر تشينج A result, proverb, distinct, different, distinct, different. Page 95, exercise 8, perspectives. 
Signs. Part A. What do you think these international signs mean? Listen and match each sign with the correct meaning. A. You can camp here. B. You aren't allowed to take photos here. C. You have to fasten your seat belts. D. You can recycle this item. E. You have to wear a hard hat to enter this area. F. You can't drink the water here. It's cool. A pearl, a jewel. Wisdom, good judgment. Wisdom, good judgment. Bush, a low tree with many leaves. Bush, a low tree with many leaves. Hatch, the process of a baby bird comes out of an egg. Hatch, the process of a baby bird comes out of an egg. An egg. Make link between N and E. An egg. Sum up. To make a summary. Sum up. To make a summary. Source. Origin. Source. Origin. Warning. A notice of a possible danger. Possible. American. British. Possible. British O O American O as a sound possible. Outcome a result. Outcome nine. Look. To fasten something with a key. Bike rack. Hallway. Hall entrance. With paper basket. With paper basket. Turn out. Ten. Words of exercise number 10. You can, main verb. You can't, main verb. You're allowed to, main verb. You're not allowed to, main verb. You have to, main verb. Eleven, fine. To pay money as punishment. Speed limit. Lane. Reserve. Warning. To be aware of possible danger. A warning. To be aware of possible danger. Be a. Yes, yeah, sound. Be aware of. Be aware of possible danger. 11b. That's weird. That's strange. Weird, strange. Patrol car. Patrol car. Police car. Police. This word. Police, not police. Police. Police car. 12. Rules and regulations. Instructions. Chew gum. Exercise 13. A pearl. A jewel. Fourth edition of Interchange. The most widely used and the most successful English course in the world. This state-of-the-art software is designed to help you maximize your teaching effectiveness as you move seamlessly through each lesson, incorporating video, audio, and even online resources, all with the click of a mouse. Visit the link below or contact your Cambridge University Press representative for a demonstration today. Interchange to first edition, unit 13, part 2. The students must keep the words by heart before explanation. 8. You can camp here, fasten your seatbelt, recycle this item, 
A hard hat. Helmet. To have your dog on a leash. <laughs>